In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the SMS native integration inside of ManyChat. Hello there, everyone. My name is Kelly Noble Mirabella, and on behalf of ManyChat, I am so excited to show you how to use the brand new SMS native feature. Now, SMS is a great way to re-engage your subscribers long past the 24-hour window. Because SMS does not run through the Facebook platform, you are not under the same messaging rules as Messenger broadcasts. First, let me explain a bit more about SMS marketing. SMS marketing is the process of using short message services, aka SMS, text messages to create relationships and satisfy customers. These messages are sent directly to an end user's mobile device. Now, SMS marketing drives leads and interest in products and services, which can involve writing positioning, imagery, and click-to-purchase actions. The instantaneous and personal feel of SMS marketing makes it attractive for businesses, but they aren't the only ones. 85% of mobile users prefer SMS from a company over email and phone, according to AT&T. They also statistically open text and click-throughs are record high compared to other marketing channels. Needless to say, this is a channel that you are going to want to tap into. A few other notes before I show you how to set this bad boy up. This program is currently only available to users in the United States. You must follow the proper prompts for subscribing users to your SMS list. I have provided you with a link to the official ManyChat flow that will help you to achieve just this. Be sure to check the description below for that flow. SMS is a pro feature, so be sure you upgrade if you want to utilize it along with all the other totally awesome and fantastic pro features that ManyChat has available for you. SMS comes with its own set of rules and regulations, so be sure you learn how to stay compliant by reading up on the SMS laws of the land. I'm going to link to the official laws down in the description below for your reference, so be sure you go and check that out. So now that we got that out of the way, let's jump on over to ManyChat and show you how to set up the process of not only getting the SMS subscribers, but also how to send out SMS broadcast, then send people from the SMS broadcast text message all the way back over to Messenger for further communication and those re-engagement campaigns. So the very first step that you are going to take when you're utilizing the new SMS feature inside of ManyChat is to head over to your settings and click on SMS at the top. Now you are going to want to read through the terms of service and make sure that that is accepted. And then you, when you're all set, you're going to click on enable to turn this on. Now you're also going to be able to come here and look at the status of where you are at in terms of messages sent and what is considered free and what you're paying for. So once you're all set, let's go to our flows. And once you download the SMS template that you will receive from us, if you click down in the description, you're going to have something that kind of looks like this. Now I've changed it to customize for my audience a little bit more, which you can do a little bit, especially when it comes to setting those expectations. So in the first box, it just says, hi, first name. We would like to be more useful and communicate with you via text message. If you want to continue, please confirm your phone number by clicking it. Your phone number must contain the country code and city code to be in the following format. So I show them the format. It's going to bring up their phone number. So now you can see here how it's set up. It's a reply type phone number, right? So that's going to help it bring up their phone number. Now the difference between when you're getting their phone number to export to a CRM or an email service provider or Google Sheets or whatever you're doing originally is that we are actually having the save phone to system field. That's where the SMS comes in. So if you're not using the SMS, you would be saving it to a custom field. But in this case, we are going to be using this phone number for SMS marketing. This also means that even though you might already have someone's phone number because you've asked them for it in the past, does not mean you have it to send out these SMS messages via the native feature. So you will have to have them opt into that again. So again, this needs to be 
turned on. We also give them a skip feature here and then it's going to continue on to a condition. The condition's going to check whether they skipped or gave their phone number. If they skipped and they didn't want to give their phone number, it's just going to continue to this message, which you can customize basically saying, that's great, we'll just continue to just send you messages via Facebook. And then if they did give you a phone number, you're gonna to go to this one. Now you do not wanna change the copy of this block. It says, click I agree to confirm, opt in for auto dialed personal and marketing text messages from your page name to your mobile number. Consent is not required to for purchase. So it says I agree or do not agree. If they don't agree, again, it goes down to this message. You could certainly change where it goes if they said I don't agree. You could say something like, would you rather opt in for our email or you know, give them another option. But if they hit agree, it's gonna to go to this action. Again, you don't have to build this out. It's part of the template. I just wanna to explain to you how it's working. The action is to set the SMS opt-in to opt it in. Then we have a confirmation message that basically tells them what to expect and how to unsubscribe. It's also important to note that we have copy here that says opting out of SMS does not opt you out of Messenger and vice versa. So we wanna make sure we're setting those expectations. So once you're all ready, you're gonna hit publish. And if you're ready to start collecting those opt-ins, you're gonna use different growth tools just as before. So we can go to growth tools. You can do any one of these growth tools to lead into this flow and get people to opt in. I personally am a big fan of the QR code and the messenger ref URL. Now, once you have people opted in and you're ready to send out your first broadcast, you're gonna head over to broadcasting, click on new broadcast. You have four options, messenger, which is your traditional messaging broadcast, SMS, which is what we're gonna show you today, email, which we'll be providing a training on this in another video, as well as multi-channel, meaning you can send out one broadcast that hits not only Messenger, SMS, but also email so that you don't have to keep duplicating your campaigns. So let's jump into the SMS feature and build out our first SMS. All right, now keep in mind, you want this to be very short. I definitely recommend you check out our best practices video, but this is going to need to be nice and short. So we're just going to basically tell them to come over and look at more stuff in Messenger. So I just said the latest workout is available. Click the link below to access via Messenger. Now, another cool thing is you can add emojis. You can add their first name to personalize that experience. There you go. If you are a personal brand, you might also think about doing something like this where you just sign off so that they know who's sending it. Next, you want to link to the next step. Now, you can send to a different website outside of Messenger, but if you are telling them that the workout can be accessed in Messenger, then you're just gonna say, send a message or start another flow. And that is up to you how you wanna do it. So from here, then they would enter Messenger and get whatever messages that you are sending. Once you're all set, you're gonna go to next. Since you did come in here via the SMS option, it's already set up for you to send out an SMS and it's only gonna send out to people who opted in for SMS, which is that whole process that I showed you via the template. Now you can also segment even further by utilizing the conditions with tags and how people opted in, time zones, all that good stuff. You can schedule to send out your broadcast either now or later, and you have the same kind of time zone settings that you have when you send out a messenger message. Now, I don't have any subscribers, but if you do, you would just click send now and this bad boy would be sent. As you can see, the process is pretty easy once you get the hang of it. I would love to hear from you. What new ManyChat feature do you want us to cover next? Let us know in the comments below. In the next video, I will discuss some of the best practices for SMS marketing that you are going to want to know because they are going to help you better serve your audience and get better results from your efforts. Be sure to subscribe here to the ManyChat channel so that you can get the latest tutorials and best practices for all the features that ManyChat has to offer. Thank you so much for watching. Now get out there and start building.